Come on, video game. I thought it was going to have a really classy intro, and here we are. We got a spinning twirly do in the bottom left. If it if it gets cinematic, and I have every reason to believe it will, we'll go into uh, to max gamer respect mode. But I guess we here in the meantime. I'm back. I'm showered, feeling clean. I like the weather in LA is is right at that like 80 degrees point where out of a shower I just kind of stay a little bit damp for the rest of the day. Oh. 0.01% nice. It's a game that automatically optimizes. It does everything. Let's see. Hey gaming since 80s, how are you? Green beans are the most disappointing vegetable. Gonna have to disagree with that one. Gonna 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 throw up a hard hard now on that one. I think uh, the worst vegetable, most disappointing vegetable. I've had some really sick green beans. Some surprising green beans. Um, Rocky Woss. Thanks for the sub. Also, Battle Royale. Hey, good to see you. Hillary, thank you for the resub. Eat my paint. Thank you again for the raid. I don't know if you're still around, but... Neck Minute, Clyde Baboon, thank you for the primes. Uh, I think I missed those while I was getting my squats in. This is your first time loading this in. This can apparently take 20 minutes. It is my first time. Oh, I should have put that in the title. Uh, oh, I left my phone in the bathroom. Oh, golly. Um, okay, well, while this is going, I guess I'll be right back. One second. Alright, good news, I'm back. Game still hasn't started. It's gotta optimize. I'm sure it's just, uh... It's just, um, caching shaders. We all know that one. I was eating two pizzas while you were exercising. What was on those pizzas? Because if they had vegetables, like olives, then you were basically eating a salad. Yeah, it's gotta reticulate splines. That's right. I'm just gonna change my title. Put blind in there. Technically not blind, but blind. Whatever. Close enough. Oh, that's right. Somehow the, like, mobile app, when you're updating your uh, stream info, doesn't let you type too fast. If you type too fast, it starts ignoring letters. You have to type once, wait for that letter to appear. Type again, wait for that letter to appear. Um, and predictive text doesn't work. I don't know what they did. They like they must have marked the box with some kind of like CSS class that makes Android think it's not a text box. I don't know. This is not another FPS. This is another third-person action adventure with a massive overworld map and tons of icons and crafting. Crafting! Have you picked up enough leaves of grass today? People say that the combat system is actually super good, which is the one thing that like games like this typically don't have. It's a really good, mechanically sound combat system. Um, Assassin's Creed doesn't have it. Tsushima does, which is really cool. Minus the uh, camera woes. Uh, I guess Sekiro technically does, but it's not quite that caliber of game. Can I play Doom Eternal without playing the 2016 one? You can, but you might as well play 2016. 2016, as a game, is kind of a long tutorial for Doom Eternal, uh, Kingfisher. And it's got to be cheap, especially with QuakeCon going on. So, uh, I, while I love Eternal, um, there's really no reason to not play 2016 first. Um, why is it saying my encoder is overloaded? Nothing's happening. Very strange. I'm like, it's like dropping frames. What the heck's going on? Hold on a second. Something weird is happening. 2016 is 10 bucks on Steam. I'm like, it's, what are you doing? It's like dropping from 60 with the CPU utilization at like 15% because nothing's going on.
What is happening? Please tell me you're doing the DLC for this too. I can't promise that I'm going to stay on this game for a super long time. We'll see. I'm just confused why, why OBS is dropping frames when it's not working hard and nothing's going on. What are you doing? I might have to reboot my streaming PC. Yeah, the lower left animation, this little this little squiggle is really taxing the, the, the encoder. Too many pixels flickering. It's seriously dropping to like 50 frames a second. Why? What is going on? What is your deal, PC? I feel like... I feel like something's running in the background, but I don't know what. Everything looks clean. It's NVIDIA here works for Denuvo or both. I mean, theoretically, none of those should be an issue because it's running on a different PC. A completely different PC. This is the same over overlay I always use. I don't know, man. It's a different PC entirely. And there's no reason at all. Her running Horizon Zero Dawn here has nothing to do with how OBS is is functioning. Maybe it's doing that thing where when OBS is the active window, it freaks out. No? We're still dropping frames? Okay. 59.02, 57.05. And I'm still waiting. Still waiting on this. Well, whatever. It's my, like, I don't know if my, uh, my webcam is getting stuttery. But maybe it is. It looks like it might be. Who knows why, dude? Who knows why? There's no reason. Oh, it looks fine on your end? Okay. I won't worry about it then. Yeah, if, usually if OBS says something other than a solid 60, that means it is dropping frames. I guess it says zero drop frames, but when it when it drops below 60, that's usually when it's a problem. And it's like going down to 54, man. What is your what is your deal? Huh? Optimizing for an optimal experience. I cannot wait. Can't wait for that optimal experience while I just get misty sitting here. Hmm. Battleroid, you're gonna get nothing but gamer skills. Don't worry about that. <laughs> PS4 version was smooth sailing. Power Bagel, thank you so much for letting me know. That's fantastic to hear. I'm so glad in this moment to hear that you had a good experience on PS4. Thank God. Thank God for that. Maybe you forgot about the part where your controller shut off after three and a half hours. Or the uh, the jet engine noise of your, your PS4 taking off. Maybe you forgot about those things, but that's alright. Sorry, I'm being snarky, but... I have no, like... The issues with OBS right now have have nothing to do with, uh, with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, so... That's just PC fun. That would be happening if I were playing on a PS4. Theoretically. Here, the second one's gonna run great on PS5. Who cares? Who cares when you have the superior experience of the personal computer? Just keep the controller plugged in? No! That's stupid. That's stupid and dumb. Um, no. That's. Uh, I love how people say, well, just don't use the major feature of it. Pretend like you're. it's 20 years in the past and it won't be a problem. No, Sony should put decent batteries in their controllers. Bleh. Bleh. I'm always I'm always gonna snark about that. Always. You're never gonna you're never gonna convince me that leaving that garbage controller plugged in is a good idea. I hate that I have to leave my DS or DualShock Porn on a umbilical cord. Yeah. With a gross like USB extension so it can go across your living room. 
the the people who say just merely do this like yeah that is a setup that you can have if you sit less than three feet away from your ps4 at all times um maybe maybe there's a setup there that i don't get the thing that bugs me is like i dualshock 4 is it's gotten better lately but certainly dualshock 3s despite having a usb cord would just flat out not charge if i plug them into any like charged uh, controller says the dude wearing a wired headset that's true and my controller is technically wired right now too because it's charging but you can get a pretty long ass usb cord yeah but then you have to coil it like do you every time you game you like pick up and run the cord across the living room and sit down on the couch you game you game you game you get up you like coil it up and then you shove your controller back on top of the playstation what control are you using? Xbox. Lol. Uh, ooh, blue. Cyberpunk. Uh, the Elite version 2. Which, hashtag ad, um, Microsoft sent to me. Would rather use rechargeable double A's? I would too, which I think is super weird because the Elite 2 does not have rechargeable batteries. It's internal only. Which I thought was really strange. The, um, for me, the ideal setup is this. Uh, I think it, yeah, a battery pack. That way you can use rechargeable batteries. You can use a pack if you really want to, if you want that like plug in and recharge experience. Um, game is pretty fast against a grassy background. I have dialed out my encoder way, way back. It should prioritize stability now, except for some reason I'm dropping frames and that's, that's really freaking me out, especially on a still image. No reason for that to happen, which means I might need to reboot my, uh, my streaming PC. <laughs> Hmm. A real human being. Thank you. You know what it might be? It might be so static that OBS is dropping frames because they're identical. That might be the case. It might be saving work. It's the loading bar? Yeah. Maybe I need to give OBS some credit and stop freaking out. Um, that alert was a bit loud. Oop, sorry. I think I might know why. One second. I actually know exactly why. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry about that. Uh, I, 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 alerts play through the same channel that, uh, MediaShare does. So, I turn it up for MediaShare, and then I forget to turn it back down. We're, we're almost there, guys. Ooh! 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 Okay. Time for big gamer time. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is 
one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. Tried. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Warm. <laughs> Ooh, we made some art. Now sign this fucking EULA, you bastard. Give us your goddamn data. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. It's mine. I want it. Give me your data, <laughs> asshole. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Nothing says 2020 video games more than a hard cut from a late title card to a Hey, you want to give us your anonymized data? Give it. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Fucking hit the button, asshole. Deceased least. Thank you for the prime. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. What is game data? Play when our games on PC, we may access data from and store the data on the device you were using. God bless government regulation. I'm gonna say that out loud, because they mm, would not tell you this stuff otherwise. Uh, State of California. Put one up for you. Thank you. Um, content data, video autographic text, account information, and other content is requested and downloaded for the Features Games app. Yeah, that's fine. Network data, information about your device's network connections. IP address number, yeah, I mean, you need that. Um, so this is the data they're getting, okay. Configuration data, yeah, asset delivery, protected hardware data, error data, same data, security data, full data, no thanks. If you allow it, full data collection, what? And if you allow for this privacy policy, provide our online services anonymous statistics, understand the performance of your game or, and or device, to develop improvements in new products or services, detect, investigate, minimize malicious, unauthorized, or fraudulent behavior, audit, compliance, training, and legal purposes. I still feel like... So, this stuff always feels like... I want to say, why would I give you anything if you're not compensating me for it somehow? 
But I also think, to some degree, the compensation is that a game like this costs $50. It should probably cost more. Hmm, maybe. Um, I read these. I, I do read these. I read the, I read the top-level stuff. I'm not going to go read the whole EULA, um, because I know it's... Let's be real. If I read the full EULA and there was stuff in there I didn't agree with, I'm not going to not play this game. <laughs> um, so... Uh, drink verification can to continue, yeah. Um, it's not that insidious yet, but at the same time... Of course they say that all they do is use this data to improve their products. Of course they say that. Um, but, I mean, the goal of that is is to sell more. That's the whole point. Um, so I, yeah. It, it's kind of like, what was it, the Vizio TVs? Where... They were stockpiling user data and like the mics were on when they didn't say. And people got really mad and Medizio was like, How do you think these TVs cost six hundred dollars? Like that was straight up their answer. Did you not ever think that we were selling a 4K TV for four hundred bucks and there wasn't some catch somewhere? Uh which I'm like, crap. Lim limited data. How about that? Um Uh oh. Okay. I need you guys to save me. Oh, come on. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to start on ultra hard, and then I'll dial it back the second I just get my ass kicked in an impossible way. I'm going to do it. I don't buy smart TVs. Is it, How do you get around it? Are there any TVs that are not smart? Um, also... Uh, good luck. Okay. I will... Your ass will be kicked immediately. Is it, like, worse than 2018's God of War? Because I really, really, really like uh, the hardest difficulty on that. Just do hard. I'll I'll dial it back once I see the extent of what I'm dealing with and whether or not it's worth it. I definitely do this thing where I dive into a game and I, I play hard on principle and then I don't get very far and then I stop playing. Uh, which is my own fault. God of War is way fucking harder? Oh. Well, don't worry about it then. That'll be alright. Um, oh, what I wanted to ask is, uh, uh, do you think mouse aim will be, a, will be important in this game? Because I know that there's, like, a bow shooting. Um, it's not so vital in God of War. Um, to have that accuracy, but I feel like in this game it might be much, much more important. So I don't know if I should tr learn this game on mouse keyboard. Um, okay, counterpoint to that. Uh, how much do you think this game will suffer from using WASD controls instead of an analog stick to move Aloy? The whole thing is shooting? Okay. Then I, I'm, I might just switch to mouse keyboard then. It's my default control. Bow shooting is very important. Okay, so here's the thing, too. If the game balance hasn't changed from console, that means it's actually going to be a fuck ton easier. 90% um, of the combat is bow shooting? Alright. Was it is, then. Uh, there are... It's it's amusing to see um, games that are balanced for analog sticks when it comes to aim and damage. And then if you move that to a mouse, it just blows it out of the water. Like, you get nothing but headshots. Um... Has a slow mode when aiming, so it's fine on controller. I'd rather I'd rather get the big shots, I think, which means I need to dial back the, the mouse sensitivity significantly. Um, we're gonna get those <clears throat> those big gamer plays, you know. Subtitles. Bang. You know what? Let's let's try it. I, uh, I remember doing adaptive performance in, uh... Oh crap, there's an ultra. Motion blur, hell yeah. Oh, there we go. I mean, inclusion kind of sucks. Alright. I am, I, the thing I'm li literally the most excited for with ray tracing is we can finally stop using ambient occlusion. Um, that's probably, uh, the, the, the least fiery take. Don't use TAA. Why? I mean, anti-aliasing basically doesn't matter. Um, I, yeah, I usually use the cheapest, fastest anti-alias, because if you're playing it like, if you're playing at 1440p or higher, Anti-alias is, is, you know, it's icing on top of icing. You don't really need it. 
SMA and F F FXAA are way better. Yeah, they're just super, super faster, right? Well, T wait, TXA. Oh, no, it's TAA. TXAA was NVIDIA's anti-alias, but I think it's gotten replaced by the uh, the AI one, which is SMAA, right? What's the, uh, what's the, like, AI-generated tech that's in, like, Dragon Hunter, Dragon, Monster Hunter World? Jesus. Um, DLSS, that's the one, thank you, sorry. Yeah, I was thinking of TXAA way back, way back in the day. I was, like, 2013, 2014 era. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Let's let's try it without waypoints. And if I bonk into walls a lot, then I'm a fake gamer. All right. Aloy! I think it. Aloy! Hmm. It does appear to be going at 120, but with a heavy, heavy cost. Wow, that's super low res. That's like 720p. Holy crap, dynamic was a bad idea. All right. Um, oh boy, I feel like that means this game is not very uh, optimized for PC. But uh, let's let's switch it right away. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Holy crap, that was intense. That was like. That was like two, 2008 PC gaming mode. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. That's so weird. Like, that's not that big of a hit of frame rate. It's just unstable. Like, it's it skips frames, but... That looks pretty good. Quite the gatherer, aren't you, little boss? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? All that hair effects, baby. Unfortunately, you guys are not seeing a lot of the fine detail thanks to thanks to Twitch compression, but YouTube, uh, the YouTube upload will probably have well a lot done, of that detail in there. Uh, Diddle Foundry says you get a boatload of FPS using full Children, screen but stutters. Hmm. Come with me. Yeah, the I noticed it in the intro. The frame rate is just inconsistent, even in even in like uh, like linear scenes where there's not a lot going on. It'll be buttery smooth, and then just blah, 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 and then back to buttery smooth, so. I think this is the side effect, and it's weird, too, because Death Stranding didn't seem to have these issues, even though it's the same engine. And it probably has to do with the, uh, the pacing of the engine cycling in and out assets. Um, but this is the sort of thing that happens when you tune a game specifically to one hardware spec, and then you have to kind of see if it can scale up. All of the all of the things that weren't bottlenecks because everything else was slower suddenly become bottlenecks when you try to scale it up because you didn't have to care about that when you were making it the first time. And when bottlenecks are deep, oh baby, they are un unfixable. I think like Fallout 4 is the story of generations old bottlenecks that are have been architected and engineered on top of, so you just can't uh, you just can't fix them. He won't hear me. So shiny. So very shiny. Alright. Still zero deaths, ultra hard mode. Gonna make it happen. Digital Foundry is yeah, they're they're kind of like Can't climb out. Definitely definitely world class when it comes to tech analysis. Oh, it's like Batman. I'm going to find a, tight, a demonic Aloy, and then I will become Aloy Woman. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Part of me wants to be snide that so far all of the game's narrative is just characters talking out loud to themselves, but whatever, man, it's video games. I do like how her, like, blue accents pop so loud uh, in, in the color scheme of Aloy as a character. Ross said never go in places like this. It's also just, like, color tones that stand out against the background, but not in an obvious way. Like, your character's not glowing or wearing a battle suit, but always juxtaposed. Like, doesn't blend into the background, despite being roughly the same, like, uh, color intensity. Still kind of desaturated, but... Armor's on point later on. 
I'm excited to see that. I played exactly as long uh, to get to when the game started. Similar, actually, what happened in Ghost, I realized. I got to Act 2, the map exploded, and I was like, yep. Well, alright then. I don't know what it is, man. Just mini ma or mini or icons on maps now. An explosion of icons is now like, you are now free to stop playing this game. Did you get all the DLC armor? Is that like extra? Because no, I just I just bought the game. I bought the base game and that's it. I did not look at something up ahead. I did not impulse buy the season pass like like Fast and Furious Crossroads. Horizon Zero Dawn's gonna have to work a little bit harder to sell me some DLC. What's that? It, oh, that it is the complete edition. You're right. That is that is the name There's of it. Something shiny there. This does remind me a little bit of what P a lot of PC ports were like back in back in the like the early 2000s. No, early 2010s. Sorry, like 08 to about 2013, the Dark Ages, really. Um, if you were lucky enough to get any port of a console game, it largely felt like this. Like parts of it scaled up really, really well, and other parts didn't. So it was this weird, uneven experience where not all the assets were at the same quality level. Recommend you just stick to the main quest then. I may not be able to on Ultra Hard. And now you're discovering uh, weird decision patterns that I make that don't make any logical sense. If I've identified this pattern, why wouldn't I change it? Lights. Everywhere. Plot hole, how dare you. How does he do this? No. Everything about this game is, is perfect. I know that. Having only played this sequence before and barely remembering it. Ancient technology. A metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Can I hack it? Use the device to scan the room. What am I missing here? Is there like a, a use button? It's filling up a... Hmm. Power status off. Okay, there we go. On the one. It's right there. It says it right there. I guess... You know what it is? You know what it is. I am so used to games, especially in the first hour, just literally telling you the button to hit, that if I don't see that, I'm like, well, I must be missing something. Like, I think... I think game tutorials have actually made me stupider. Um... Did it. Trying to 100% this? No. Nah, I mean, we'll see. If I get into the game and absolutely love it, maybe, but... Why, is there something you can miss in the intro? To, to biff your save to not be 100%? This is bad compared to Death Stranding's port? Yeah. It, it feels that way already. Death Stranding's port was extremely solid. Um, this is inconsistent. Oh, no, I think it's come back at a higher level thing? Okay. Nothing makes, like, nothing leaves my anxiety more than a game or someone saying nothing in this game is missable. I have, I have dark, door chains dark come. dreams, night, night terrors, thinking about games like Suikoden and, like, not being able to get an ending because 30 hours ago I didn't talk to an NPC in the corner of a map or something. That stuff is bonkers. Why would they do that to you? This is my version of, uh, of living through the Great Depression. Instead of, like, hiding food in my pockets when I'm at a restaurant, I, uh, I scour every corner of a, of a video game room thinking there might be a shiny, meaningless pick up to prevent myself from having, like, 35 out of 36 pick up at the end of the game. What's that? Pretty smart too. Like, they're already defining. It's got a device. They're defining machine stuff with cooler, cooler hues, purples and blues. 
which makes it a pretty even trade. Um, from what I presume will be all the colors of, of natural, the natural world. Yeah, the machines loved RGB. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. Why wouldn't he have a cyber kazoo? Hi. Like he just pulls up a hollow thing Happy and he's like, birthday, boop, 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 me. Daddy sure does love his little big man. This game's lore is garbage. Daddy can't be there with you and Because Mom. I thought of one thing. We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Daddy sure does love his little big Hey, Buffalo Prime. Thanks for the host. I've been meaning to catch up with you, by the way. I will. You might not be hearing this right now. I'm gonna hit you up on Twitter. Cyber Kazoo, yeah. <laughs> it actually sounds like a foghorn because they don't know what kazoos sound like anymore. They, okay. The, the future cyber race found a, like, VHS tape of a kazoo, except the tape was messed up. And when they played it back, the, the right was all stretched, so it sounded like a deep horn. So they assumed, in the old world, people played la the deep horns when they celebrated. The louder and deeper, the better. Uh, so cyber kazoos sound like a... Sound like a foghorn. Just like something that rattles the windows. That's when you know the party's going off. Maybe they sneak them into, like, graduations and stuff. I'm sure that's the case. Oh! that lore hello happy new year dear diary can you believe we actually celebrated last night hmm. well we did shades of uh metroid prime Dr. Evans invited everyone to having like a, a lore view if you don't care about lore just don't hit this button and you're good so they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight and i'm thinking am i the only one who gets the symbolism of this it might have been worth it if skylar had gotten drunk again but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Uh, let's see. I saw them lining up. What? Oh, you can't. If you find a data log, will it cut off the audio of your other data log? Um. I saw them lining up. Handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone. Anything anymore. Uh, no substance X. Thank you for the sub. Much love from Brandon P and Maribel O. I'm an industry vet that worked on the recently announced Akana for a year and a half as a lead game designer. I made 95% of the code and then fired me after I helped them sign with PlayStation. Wow! Holy crap! I am very sorry to hear that. Um,. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Re oh, it's this one. Oh, this one looks so cool. Oh no, I was super excited about this game. I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, it looks like you were. Man, that's a bummer. Um. Yeah, this this game was one of my favorites. Uh, from their um, from their showcase. Uh, what what was the name of that dev that you worked for? I got pretty fucked to help make that trailer three years ago. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, hey man, um, I'm not quite in the place right now, but if you want, I'm sure there are YouTubers who'd be happy to run with that narrative. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably not gonna help you all that much. Um, it's probably my first and only real bad story. Yeah, th here's here's the bummer. Um, like you can, you can try to, to, not that you were asking. I, I kind of am pissed off. So that's why I'm bringing it up. 
Um, you can try and get some watchdog stories out of it uh, with, with gaming media. Again, probably wouldn't directly help you all that much, aside from maybe uh, getting some visibility on you and your career, so maybe we can get some job offers for you, but um, let me know if I can do anything to help, uh, because that sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. Uh, feel free to like whisper me on, on Twitch or, or send me a DM on Twitter or something like that, and we can talk, but wow, that blows, and uh, this game looks amazing, so you and your team did incredible work uh, for what it's worth. Looks like you've missed a few logs already. No, I, I, no, N no, N no. Are they, are they like, they, there's no way they can be uh, linear, right? How, I <laughs> you did. Oh, no, 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 no. The more I learn about the game dev industry, the less I want to join it. Red Dog, I I, ha I hate to say that I came to that realization a while ago. Uh, you can come back later. Uh, but I could get it now. It's so much more efficient to get it now. The unlocks. No, I love the lore. No. I need the lore. Game dev is fun. Ember Lab came from cinematic VFX work where they screwed over many people before I found out. Ah, so this is a legacy, Why huh? Why did they die here? What happened to them? I mean, seriously. Record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Oh, so this Never this did. is lore icon. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> These wow. are the games I just have a guide open on different window for all the lore locations. That's not. So, I have been corrected. I thought that it was not very gamer to use assists to achieve and acquire uh, attainment in games. Um, but apparently it's even more gamer. I'm of two minds on it. Part of me, that's not organic, I guess that's the word. Part of me thinks that um, a gamer can get it done with just these hands and this gamer mind. But another part of me thinks, well, why a gamer wouldn't say no to tools that help them game harder. Does it matter? Yes. Yeah. Listen. If we're not hyper-analyzing every facet of the gamer culture and lifestyle, are we even gaming? No, we're not. Before you, before you get there. Maybe that's all I need. Well, we're not. We're not that actually. The door and you were standing there, wearing that retro wig dress, and the way you smile. The collections are pretty. You gonna see? I'm like that. I like the way that the light gets what had just like blurry. Blossomed inside me. You know? Cool look. It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. When you've been searching for the last fucking collectible for days, you're happy there's a guide for it? Yeah. I have stuck to my guns and not used any guides to find, like, purple coins and... or, or hidden art moons in Mario Odyssey, but... I spent way too much of my life in New Donk City. I got him though. Like a year after I temporarily gave up, I found him. Which was a rush. Steph was not nearly as, uh... Steph was not nearly as enthused as I was about that. Down here! I'm coming! I'm coming! Your first time playing Horizon? Sort of. I played the prologue on PS4, and that's it. I prayed, I played Take until you walk out as adult Aloy and the game you starts. You don't belong down there. Come. I was like, wow, Art. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. 
I have 100 games in my backlog. I want to finish them at some point, so I use guides. Such things are dangerous. Yeah, I've thought about that. If uh, if life truly is, if if life's value truly is the list of games you beat, when Saint Peter asks for your conquests on Earth, uh, it would be better to come equipped with a long list of big games. Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home. You'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. I'm buying Eternal Darkness on GameCube and sending in the Nintendo Starting Power tomorrow? insert for a free hat or guide. I got the hat. Was it a good hat? I remember getting a subscription to Nintendo Power because they were giving away soundtrack or an orchestral recording of a Smash Brothers Melee concert, Smashing Live. And it was so worth it. That CD is awesome. I still listen to it. When, uh,. Every time a new Smash game comes out, I listen to that album. Uh, and, it, and it always gives me chills, man. Some of the performances. I do remember... Um, I'll be shaking. What do they mean? Back in the day, uh, just feeling really cool that... Take your bow. Uh, an orchestral performance of game music could, could receive applause from an, an entire... An entire audience. Oh? That concept Enough itself is very that cool. Plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous. Ice man. You will need to stay close and do as I say. Is there a way for me to buy you some drinks? Now. Why are those you're still scratched leaves? up from oh, they're ants. You Never mind. yesterday? So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. If I could, if I could bump you a couple of bucks on PayPal, I'd be glad to do it. Just so you can buy some beer or something, man. I need something to get through the day. Good. Now eat the berries. Eat the berries. Yeah. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries. Oh, Trey, thank you for gifting us that. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches. This game is beautiful. It keeps out the most dangerous machines. Performance wise, it, it's a little inconsistent, but gosh, it's pretty. Gold Orchard. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, slam them poison berries down. Don't mind the. Uh, they even made lens flares orange and blue. Down river, we'll find a herd of machines. The mad lads did it. And I will teach you how to hunt. Game orange blue, dangerous? lens flare orange blue. All machines are. Because in my stream, the game randomly stutters once Their in a while. Power must be respected. I mean, the game. But I will be beside you. Is not a rock solid frame rate, but it shouldn't. I don't know. I, I can't say, without analyzing the uh, the nature of your stutter. Follow me into the tall grass. If it's like a solid hitch, that's no good. That's probably your side of things. Um, I have I have such bad luck with having hardware acceleration on. No, Chrome, um, the Twitch player locks up every like five or six seconds if hardware acceleration is on. It's very very annoying. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Ugh. Making something robotic, but also like the trail to that tall grass. Not angular. Reminds me of like Metal Gear Solid 4 and just the creepy body horror weird imagery of the like the oh, geckos. Let it pass. With their like hot ass legs. Come back this way. Organically robotic. So yeah. The quieter there was a good amount of that stuff in um, Crouched walking is quieter than upright. Uh the Matrix too. The textures on the robot parts and fabric look so good. Yeah, it's uh Oh This game does look really, really, really good. That's the last of them. Uh frame Let's rate's not so hot, but at this point it, I'm kind of okay with the trade, just because of how good it looks. <clears throat> Twitch quality isn't helping, yeah. All the 
like there's so much secondary motion in the frame all the time, it's going to eat up a ton of bitrate. So I'm sure it's I'm sure it's nice and muddy for you guys. You did well. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, see or hear you. That's that's just the way the the cookie now crumbles here on Twitch Television. Twitch hates this game. Yeah. This uh, Breath of the Wild, I'm sure, is not fun. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, shockingly, was an encoder, encoder mutilator. Ignore him. But why is he up there? <laughs> it's like Skull Kid. He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Oh, I heard it performs really bad on NVIDIA cards. Same power AMD cards have 15% better frame rate. Maybe he doesn't like to try. They, well, NVIDIA didn't put out a, a driver for this game, did they? Usually for each game, that NVIDIA, Fall. or each big game, they did it for Death Stranding. They'll put out a new driver version with, like, tweaks for the specific game. Uh, I don't recall them pushing a driver update for this, which is odd. I think that might be the result there. I don't know, maybe NVIDIA is working on some other stuff, or... Like, Gorilla slash Sony said no, thanks? There. See them? These are called Striders. Uh, game ran a ton better after my first restart. Not sure why, but it used a ton of extra RAM the first startup. Yeah, maybe for the, the shader pre-compiling. It just ha, leaves, it. A, leaves a ton of trash and RAM or something. Why'd you chase them off? It could be texture caching. Yeah. Could be. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you. I'll play through the prologue and then, yeah, restart the game. They're best approached by stealth. Are there assets in the prologue you don't we'll see catch again? Up with them further down the I field. guess, like, You'll young see. Aloy character models and stuff like that. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to yeah. use them. Because you better get used Good. to picking shit up That's off the it. ground. Those will do. Follow. This game has memory leaks? How exciting. Yeah, memory leaks happen over time. Mm -hmm. Gotta do your hourly restart. I have a lot of RAM. Here, let's, let's play a fun game. Uh, where are we at? <laughs> I mean, two gig is not that much. Although my memory's getting eaten up by something. Wait a minute, what? That doesn't, that's not right. It, that's not right at all. It can't be two at 18% usage. Hmm. Sounds like a memory leak to me. Yeah. If it's reporting 2 gig in Windows, but memory's like 60% taken. Uh, can't you see? Like, hold on a minute. Come back. Good lord. Okay. Yeah, it's it's 22. Um That's so weird. Why is it Did I just misread it? <clears throat> oh, 2 gig, yeah. That's weird. 2 comma 2, 2 2 comma. Hmm. Hmm. It's off by like a factor of 10. Or wait, that's not how it works. Cuz it's like base something, I don't know. It's like it's off by a factor of Two to the sixty fourth, or something like that. Something. Yeah, it's a pretty big jump. Um, is it going up? Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Yeah, the process uh, sitting on its own in the background is r writing more into memory, like one megabyte every every three seconds or so. Yeah, it's it's kilobytes here and megabytes here, but still, this is this is like it's a scale. Of, it's, a, it's still a scale of ten difference. This is this is two two million kilobytes, and this is twenty two million kilobytes. That's data collection. Yeah, all that sick data. Ah, interesting. I wonder. That's that's wild. That's that's the sort of thing. Like that is pretty obvious. So that had to be a known issue when they shipped. 
Maybe it's one of those things where they were pretty sure that they could button it up before release in the day one patch, but they didn't quite get it. There's the herd. Oh, there was one interesting All frame. Right. I think we saw the mythical frame without post-process right there. Because it had to cut camera perspective. No, but they can distract them. Draw them but they frames. needed to buy a frame to run post-process on where they were cutting to, so... There's a Warn the herd an undressed frame in the middle. In range. That doesn't happen very often anymore. How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. One frame cuts now, you brutal. stay here on the ridge. On my signal. It does it does make your eyes go insane for a little bit, yeah. It's fun to well, fun. This is my version of fun. It's fun to dig into game capture and like re, like really dig into those frames and see. Distraction rock. That sounds like a good a good genre of music. Be good. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now. Gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. He stabbed, but he also dead. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Weapon wheel. Good. You'll never run out of arrows. You know how to craft. What you Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Nope. It's pretty. It's a pretty game. Here, stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You My must machine blue screened when it did its optimization and asset loading thing. the first time. I started the game up. Where it is yeah, that's not good memory management. It sounds like it was trying to write something to a space it wasn't allowed to. I mean, usually the OS will just kill... kill the game. The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Shins? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that play thing? Stop playing games. Now... Take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Tip! Keep firing! Keep firing! Control is roll? Again! Oh, baby. We got damage numbers popping out of enemies. Huh, I guess I didn't expect the animals to like animate this way. Aloy, be careful! Why does it seem like it's running in slow motion? Is it just me? Again! That is so weird. Again! Oh my gosh. You're supposed to hit the thing on the back? I did. Oi! What is it? Hit! Keep firing! Oh, okay, it's dead. The same, yeah. I like. I feel like I'm missing it by like one pixel. I'm shooting over it every time. Yes, I am. I don't know why. It like seems to you just like well be like boop, every time I fire at to it. Learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy, the one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. 
hated the emphasis on weak points in a game built for controllers. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm comfortable sticking with mouse keyboard. Ooh, yeah, that frame rate's getting ooh, that frame rate's getting interesting. I feel like that combat really uh really threw my system a one too. Yeah, it went from 60 to 20 FPS. Yeah, now it's starting to get real stuttery. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah, it's pretty choppy now. Yes, I see that too, for sure. Oh, boy. That's the ram situation. We'll see after this art. Ooh. Was that was that Zeba for fighting on the wall there? <laughs> Avengers looking like a comfy seven out of ten game you play when you have nothing else to play or watching a show. Yeah, Destiny. It's exactly Destiny. It's Destiny except Marvel, which is actually a really cool idea. I can do um, I got a code for the beta. Apparently, it'll be live at nine p.m. Pacific. I don't know if it's going to go live before that. I'll check it out as the day goes on and see, see when it goes up. Destiny, except not visually interesting. Yeah, it seems to have traded the originality of Destiny for the deep references of Marvel lore. So instead of like going to a wild, a wild planet that has an infinite plane of geometric shapes and fighting crazy mechanized aliens that explode, instead it's like... Oh, I get to get Iron Man's specific suit from the 1974 Iron Man comic that I really, really liked. Um, that's a... Uh, I can see that being an equitable trade-off for some people, you know? Um, I don't quite have that, that deep Marvel lore in my head, so I don't know that I'll get a value out of that, but I'm, I'm, ex I'm interested. It, the, if anything, the game... Uh, tag us before that. All right. I need to move slowly and quietly so I can sneak past. Interesting world and lore replaced with member this. Destiny's world and lore. Destiny's world is good. It's fun to look at. It's lore being interesting. That might be a teensy bit generous. But, I don't know. I think there's value in it. Even if you don't know those references, um, the game, the, the war table implied to me that the game would have um, explanatory content. So it's like, yeah, you can unlock Iron Man's 1974 suit, but then the game will also explain the reference of like, this is the suit that Tony Stark wore in this series where he fought this character. And I would even appreciate maybe some a little bit of editorialization of like, this this is the suit that popularized this kind of design, and it was designed this way to like pair with this character arc Tony was going through. Um, I think that would be awesome. And that would actually add a lot of value to something like uh, Marvel's Avengers to me. And it almost seems like that's what they're doing. Um, almost. I might be getting a little too... Uh, I might be letting my imagination run away with me thinking about the um, the implications of that stuff, but that's what it feels like. Got to be careful. I'm not a fan of the NPC's insult thing too. Yeah, I'm not either. I it's mostly gone at this point. Nobody does that anymore. I think people realized they slowly came around to the actual implication of what they were saying, which is one of those like you're kind of de you're defeating yourself before you're even coming out of the gate. Like, you can't be that on the nose in admitting that you dehumanize everybody you interact with. That's, like, exactly the problem. To see their oh, wait. Coming this way. So, it seems like it passed quickly. Once, uh, I think people came to the communal understanding that by using that term, they were exactly every shitty thing that people, people implied they were. Too much credit? Well, I, I don't, I don't see people using it anymore. Um, I think... I think deep down that's what it what it was. It was like you're, you're saying the quiet part out loud when you call people NPCs. Almost there. I work with a guy who does. Oi. Now that's just sad because that's using a dated insult. Like it, it's using a crappy internet insult, and also it's dated. Like 
not only are you not only are you a try-hard internet edge boy, but you're not even a fashionable one. Uh, like at least try to be current. Like we don't call people soy boys anymore. We don't call them NPCs anymore. There he is. Just call them a pleb. Yeah, that's like still using milady, kind of. Yeah. Ugh. What is the NPC insult thing? Oh, it's it's basically the video game version of sheeple. Um, calling other people in the world NPCs because they have no autonomy or independent thought, and all they do is repeat the words they're programmed to say. Um, it was it was a common association of people, 4chan types, associating it with SJWs. They all just say the same thing. They're all NPCs in our video game world, is the idea. The thing is, like, when oh clown world that's true yeah the clowning thing was was another wave that kind of happened after that um people still use the soy boy thing they do but again it's not fashionable i think you kind of out yourself too fast um if you unironically call someone a soy boy at this point it's like okay well not only are, not only do you traffic in the the shittier parts of the internet but also you're behind the times so it's like you can't even be up to date in trying to be an edge lord <laughs> I, I love the, di the dichotomy of this kind of stuff. Um, I, I think it, I think it's a genuine part of internet culture. It's not it's not one of the fun parts, but it's there. Um, How are you doing this? I got techno vision. Your Friday's going well. Hey, candles. I mean, you got blooded by chat. Do you have any brief? Comment opinion on how this is running, given all the reported port issues. Trying to decide if I should buy it or wait. Never played it. Don't want to ruin the experience for myself. Is possible? So I have a pretty overpowered PC. I uh, so my comments are going to relate specifically to how it runs on my machine. That's all I can see. It's still running better than a PS4 for me. But I've already identified a memory leak. Uh, maybe it's just in the intro. Um, I'm gonna restart the game after I get out of the intro and, and see how it holds up over the rest of the day. But it's higher resolution and higher frame rate than a PS4 already, so there's that. Wait. Um, it's on the platform I prefer, so there's that. I don't have to charge up a PS4 controller. So these are all things that like are in its favor. That said, it doesn't run as well as some of the better PC ports. That's that's obvious already. Seal your lips. Big frame drops at 2K. That's that's exactly what I'm hitting. It's not enough. Both. To ruin the game. She is motherless. Uh, but the frame drops do kind of prevent it from being the, Come like chef's kiss, high Come frame rate, high resolution experience you would expect to get from a PC. Um, you. I played this game on PS4 already. I didn't play through it. I played it for one evening. The boy should not have spoken to us. It's so I'm familiar with that. Wall. 1080 and ultra Look wide. So if high res is the main issue. I wouldn't be worried. Follow. Okay. Uh, yeah, you might be you might be safe the there. Um, it does have a dynamic resolution option that basically ran it in like PS3 mode. I wouldn't recommend that one because it it's run it runs okay at this, but yeah, there are there are, there are stretches of time where the frame rate is consistent and solid and it looks so buttery, but then uh, but then yeah, away, no you'll hit these like jitters and chunkers and. Game the generation? Oh. Breath of the Wild. It's Breath of the Wild. It's possible Cyberpunk could do that stuff, but it's Breath of the Wild. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Ailey expresses her personality is up to you. Uh, okay, so this is just like a choose your own adventure cutscene. Um, this does I'm sure this doesn't have. Does this have, like, character or lore implications? I think Cyberpunk will disappoint people. Captain Freud, I think that's inevitable. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit... I'm gonna... Put this kid on the ground. Oh, that was sick, actually. Aloy. We cannot. Um... Yeah. The way that some people talk about Cyberpunk already, it's pretty clear that they don't have... They don't have a concept of what the game is, despite what CDPR has said about it. You're bleeding. It's more like Let me have a they announced C uh, Cyberpunk, and then somebody was like, "Great, I know exactly what it's going to Hold be." Still. And I've spent the last Why? 
the last three years imagining in my head of what it is and it will be a I grand an betrayal Aloy. and CDPR will be wrong if they did not create my vision I've told um, you before. I think a lot it's of people. For us to know. There's a group of people that will come at the you game like that, and they'll be very upset. Brought you to me. People have already been complaining about features being removed that were never announced to be in the game in the first place. It's not so simple. But they know. I think like they dual know. wielding and car customization we were the big so ones. Where CDPR was like, me. those aren't in the game, and then people were like, oh, you said they were, and then they so tell me. never actually did. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. I hope it's a good J uh, RPG that it? looks pretty and has good gun. Tell me. The proving. I think that's. The tribes write I think a that's a reasonable year. expectation. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? What I think. Yes. Will probably take a lot of people wants. by surprise. Then I'll do is it. that cyberpunk. Is an action RPG, Whatever it takes. but it does not look like Horizon Zero Dawn. It doesn't look like Witcher 3, even. It looks like it's got more character build, more character spec, and more, like, best get divergent pathing than Witcher 3 did. And I think that's going to throw people for a loop. And it'll take I think people will build a character a particular yes. way. Follow. They're going to try to do something outside of that character spec. They're going to get their ass kicked, and then they're going to call the game bad. I think, I'm, I guarantee you that's going to happen. A lot. Somebody's gonna roll a cool hacker character, and then they're gonna run into a gunfight, get their ass shot to death, and be like, this game sucks. Uh, because they're used to games letting you do whatever you want. They're used to like the Assassin's Creed vibe of, you can do it all, man, whatever. It doesn't matter how you spec, it doesn't matter, like, or the Far Cry experience of like, you go from being really good to being overpowered. That's the, that's the, the power arc. Um, it looks like uh, what I've seen about Cyberpunk so far implies that they will just not let you do everything. Or even from a gameplay perspective, uh, certain characters will kick your ass if, you, if your ass is kickable. Um, so I'm curious how people will feel about that. About, like, just the, the basic premise being like you can't 100% the game in one run. Uh, you have to make choices uh, that affect NPCs and stuff like that. A friend of mine hates the game because he doesn't like tutorials and refuses to finish them. Okay. The Doom Eternal of RPGs. Doom Eternal had that moment, right, with the with the Marauder. There were people who insisted that the Marauder broke Doom Eternal, whereas in my opinion, it, it actually fit the game perfectly. It's just like the moment you think you're getting good at the game, they throw the Marauder at you, and I think most people just couldn't handle that reset. I saw some similar stuff with. Okay, that's that was a weird looking face. I saw some similar stuff happening with. Um, that was a cool transition, though. This is about where I stopped, by the way, after this cutscene. You walk out of the house, you see a mini-map, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Uh, what was it? Um, Mortal Shell. I think a lot of Souls, Souls got, uh, like pros came to Mortal Shell. And Mortal Shell has a different flavor and a different tempo about it. It's not bad. It's just not Dark Souls. And I think people came at it thinking it's Dark Souls. And that's when they say, this game is broken because it's, it doesn't feel this way. Instead of, like, backing up a bit and maybe retuning their expectations. He looks exactly the same. Is the Marauder the guy with the tiger? Yeah. He's got the, he's got the, the, the laser wolf. Because <laughs> Doom Eternal rules. I will say one big thing about the Marauder that they probably should have said out loud Lost. is that shooting the shield makes him spawn the wolf. Um, I didn't even, I did not figure that out until someone in Twitch chat told Lost. me, and that was after playing the game for like 20 Lost. hours. And that's a really, really important, uh, Where is he? important bit to know. Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He's got more wrinkles and he gray hair. I, I thought there might have been a, yeah, this is about when I was like, okay, we're done. Um, irony of ironies, I'm going to quit again right now, but I will launch the game immediately. Um, uh, you can't save anywhere? I guess you just have to trust the checkpoints, huh? That's going to make ultra hard, ultra harder. Yeah, let's reset that RAM. Uh, all right, one second. Let me, uh, let me pull the curtain. Pull the curtain here. Pay no attention. Pay no attention to any of this. There's a camp or a campfire right there. Uh oh. 
The Marauder was there to fuck with you when you thought you got it. He was a pain in the ass, but he made fights immediately go from this isn't so bad to oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's weird, like... People... It's like, sometimes it's hard to, to figure out, the, to triangulate what people want. Because um, they complain about the Marauder, because it changes the way you play too much. But then people complain about the boss fights in Doom Eternal, saying that, like, they weren't interesting enough. So, like, where's the middle ground? Uh, also, I've quit the game, but Horizon Zero Dawn.exe is still running. Um, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, I felt, I, felt, I felt like that was really weird. I never heard people say it back to back, so it's possible that it's not the same people making these arguments. But I did hear both, and I'm like, so the Marauder is what you want. Like a boss where you have to do something different and learn a different thing. Uh, yeah, it's still there, and it's still growing. It's still getting bigger. Uh, in fact, it looks like the rate of it getting bigger has gone up since I closed it. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, that's real fun. Okay. It's gone. My memory is back. It's like diving. Wow. It's having to unload all that stuff. This still feels like too much RAM is being consumed. Um, God. Fucking creative cloud, man. I like how they made their icon a little rainbow, make it pop out extra hard. <laughs> it's in my task manager now, too. I don't even own the game. Wake up and, and play Horizon Zero Dawn. All right, let's try it again. Let's get back in there. That clean desktop. I got some I got some trash stacking up. Two gigabytes to Chrome. I will never, for the life of me, ever understand why people get so huffy about Chrome taking RAM. That's what it's there for. That's what it's there for. I think the exact second, like there was, I can't remember, there's some game journalist, um, and I hate to say that so derisively, but in context it'll make more sense. I'm, I'm glad I can't remember who it was, but they were going off on a tear about how Chrome was taking too much RAM. And I just like, I get that, okay, I get that maybe you don't understand computers, maybe you don't understand the point of RAM, that's fine. But to talk with so much authority about something you don't understand at all, like that RAM, that's what RAM is for, and your operating system doles it out, like, part of me thinks, like, I guess I get it to some degree. It's not the same as CPU utilization, though. If your CPU is burning hot, you're wasting power. You're actually wasting something. RAM being full wastes nothing. It being full is exactly the same as it being empty. And the OS swaps things in and out of RAM all the time. So if it's used, good. That means you're actually using what you paid for. Uh, it's, it's like storage bins, you know? Why would you go into a closet and be like, yes, all my storage bins are empty, fantastic. This is how it should be. So, I don't know. For somebody to just be so, it's, it's that like, know nothing but look down upon something you don't understand thing. I was like, come on, bleh. Okay, let's see what an actual, uh, let's see what an actual boot from, or a cold load is like. Um, yeah, it's, uh, maybe, maybe this, maybe I'm being too much of a jerk about it. Um, but, uh, here's, here's a, a, a fancy and handy little, uh, mnemonic, I guess, to understand how staged storage works. Um, you know what, let's, let's rocket it even further back. Um, computers are built with tiers of speed. Um... The fat, because the faster something is, typically the more expensive it is. So, uh, oof, I got more t more texture fighting there. Um, so the fastest memory is what? right next to the CPU, so it can swap data in and out and keep making calculations like it's supposed to. Um, below that is like there there are usually what? three levels of cached memory on the CPU, what? fastest to slowest, each getting bigger and bigger. Then you have system RAM, which is faster than a hard drive, or at least it used to be. It's, that's getting weird, but. Uh, that's basically like, if if ca level level caching on the CPU is what you're holding in your hands, um, RAM is like what's on your table, uh, w with whatever you're working with. Let's say you're like working on crafts or doing needlepoint or whatever, and uh, hard drive is what's in your closet. So your computer basically moves things increasingly closer to where the work needs to happen to make it faster to swap in and out. It's actually an extremely efficient uh, setup. It, g it gets the most performance for the most uh, most efficient cost. Um, spear connection over to try it on the training dummies. Quick save. All right. RAM is still way faster than hard drives or solid states. It is. It is. But, like, I, I just say it's getting weird because, like, stuff like the PS5, which kind of is rewriting the input-output flow, 
uh, on a base engineering level, stuff like that um, is is changing that scene. Um, so that's kind of kind of what I mean. I mean, the PS4 was the first step towards what I consider the ultra bright future, where there's no more caching. Maybe there's just like one or two levels of caching in the entire machine, but it's just one giant bank of outrageously fast storage. Um, so there's no moving, there's no caching, there's no loading things in and out. It's just all right there when you need it as fast as you want it. Um, I mean, the the side, the true answer to that is when everything's running on a server farm and, and you're just one process of 80 running on a, a supercomputer. He said we'd go hunting this morning. And that's when none of Why that stuff matters. Here? Where's he gone to? Yeah, one giant table. Also, you have extendo arms. So you can reach everything immediately. What's he doing up there? I think that's the idea. He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Yeah, frame rates are still inconsistent. How about just one caching? Yeah. Hey, Lord. I mean, you're here. There's also the the matter of like caching does help uh, data security. So the operating system can use the physical separation of memory to kind of know where things are and where they should not be allowed to go. So like writing stuff to CPU cache is a very protected thing. And usually you have to really constrain what processes are allowed to run there and read that data. Because if you can get in there, you can you can destroy a computer. Um, Do so you be I think that gets a little more complicated no. if system memory is all it's one physical thing that can be addressed all over the place. Then it's like, Aloy. then the operating system has a hunt. To survive. A window it's allowed to talk to, well, or it has a window that it's allowed to tell other people you. to talk to. But I feel like it's much Would easier. You learn it now. Of course, I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity mm -hmm. to. If learn everything's in an L1 cache, everything could fondle things. anything. Yeah, you and make it more prepare. likely for memory leaks to actually brick your computer you immediately. Like, like that. Bang! It's out. It's Descend dead. The for good. And hunt until you have gathered the parts. Imagine for like. Horizon Zero Fire Dawn overriding your me your We're motherboard kind of BIOS just bonk, about? just like what that. Blue screen gone. Ones, it's you dead. You meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate. Ugh, makes my the skin edge crawl. Of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something yeah. else bothering you? Why are you so crappy, Poppy? I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? Bond on the is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. Gently caressed. To be shunned. Oh. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't. There is much to do, Aloy. Or some fun Discuss lab viruses around the turn of the millennia that could wipe a motherboard by us. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so. It's... <sighs> PC security is so wild. Um, I'm sure it's true everywhere in the world, you know, like if if you run security contracting and it's like We want to make sure no one can break into this building But the building was built in the 1700s and has been renovated like 18 times since then That's kind of what a PC is you're, you're dealing with engineering decisions that were made 30 years ago um, Before any concept of any of the problems we have now were even a, a memory in someone's mind like a, a fever dream um, But that's what we're dealing with. That's what the world is running on. So you got to figure it out Ugh. Cybersecurity is, is awesome. I love it. I love it so Anything much. Anything else you want to do while I'm yeah. down in the embrace? It's a beautiful mess. Oh. Hey, Odd Jacob Source, thanks for the sub. Right now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind if she'd say Yeah, and the government keeps trying to require you to make the Rana security worse. The law. That's a whole other thing. That's the thing, That's the thing I have very little insight into. Insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but... I'm also going to pay Our cards computer's to just a huge mess? Yep. Aloy, yes, they are. That man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. She looks Stop like she's wearing Invisalign. Then. You'll find use every character has that, like, tonight. wet teeth. That sounds ominous. All right. See you at the North Gate. Systems are as fallible as the people who make them. Ain't that the truth? We have this, this, or I say we, I mean, I guess I. Something is really bad on him. Have a, something is bad on him. He's a weird preconception that computers should be able to attain the perfect precision of a computer because they are perfectly precise machines, but yeah. They are built 
programmed and operated by imperfect people that have their own sets of weird assumptions and mess pouch full. What if I eat berry? Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I stopped. So we're officially in uh, never, been, never Been Played Before blind territory with this game. Yowza, that frame rate. Oof. You've got to be real gentle with your camera movements. That's the other interesting thing about uh, running a console port on PC. It's not on a console. You can't do that. You cannot. Uh, the controller has a maximum turn speed, even at the high sensitivity, so programmers and developers can reasonably assume that textures will only cycle in and out so fast. But again, that doesn't Amorous. exist on PC. You can, like, look into a wall and then snap around in one frame and look in 180 degrees the opposite direction. Two days. Which is a nightmare days until I get answers. for managing assets. Two days and I'll know who she was and why I was cast out at birth. The so blades from striders gather sh metal shards right. from machines. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. Machines. I should find a herd. Quantum computers will either solve all our problems or maybe create new problems we can't even fathom, maybe both. Yeah, Quantum Machines is... I, I still haven't watched that video series about it, uh, which I'm excited to do. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but... The Quantum Machines definitely solve all problems while create a whole raft of entirely new and potentially world-altering problems immediately. Uh, Amaja, thank you for the sub. So fun to see how it looks on PC. Yeah, it's been an, inter an interesting uh, explorative process so far. Yep, is there fall damage in this game? I'm sure I'll find out. I do wonder what'll happen. Like, the first time somebody really comes up with a, a quantum computer that can process data like we linearly envision it now, that can basically, like, crack encryption algorithms in, in like, a day or something like that. That's the sort of thing that could, like, cause entire nations to fall apart immediately. Encryptions for quantum are already being worked on. Yeah, that, I guess that's good. Yeah, it's, it's not like this is taking people by surprise, you know? They, they know that this is coming. Cryptography is already dead. Our quick cryptography is dead. Nah, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a new kind. It's more like... The world's going to have to click over immediately. And there, there will be a lot of people who don't. They get, they get absolutely dicked. I feel like uh, insurance is going to get weird then. I don't know if anyone's selling encryption insurance. Like, to protect against losses from decryption of your private data. Get over here, dude. This one doesn't have a tank, though. Damn. Does it have a laser? Any? Holy, holy cow! How do you even hit a weak point on? On console, it's moving all over the place on PC. Yowza! Does it jitter around that much? That is that is not easy to do. Jump and aim. I guess I don't have that. Oh, that's right. I have skills I gotta spend or something. Uh, I mean, that seems pretty important to get. Seems like a pretty core skill. That seems real important. Aim assist. So does it just lock on to the weak point and track it as it's jumping around? No oh, magnetized? Okay. So, like... It yanks your cursor, but you just have to do a little bit of fine aim to get it on the glowy part. Okay. That's that's a pretty satisfying way to do it.
Kind of like Red Dead style. Oh. Boy, that's... Oh. Okay, they mad. They mad. Alright. I'm gonna jump over the side. I can. It's bear is... Damn is right. Holy crap. Uh, this frame rate is, is getting pretty raunchy. It's, mm, it's weird because I think at its worst it's about PS4 territory, but the little bits in between that are better than PS4 get you used to it, and then it dives back down, and you're like, yowza. Ouch. I'm gonna keep your distance. I shall. Uh, let's see here. Weapon wheel. What was... There it is. Should be able to slow down time without jumping. Yes, you can. Oh, come on! Man, really? They get on your ass fast. Is that part of? Is that part of hard? Oh, melee. Good point. It's kind of my first open-world encounter, so it's going to be a little chunky. feel about the port so far it yeah the port's not great um i still prefer it to playing on ps4 just for the increased resolution and and really uh, at its bit at its minimum it's still better than a ps4 uh but it's nowhere near as good as uh, some of the recent ports good lord i can't even see Okay, that lets you zoom in. Why can I... What? Oh, I switched to... Why did I switch to those arrows? What happened there? Okay. Dang it. What? Ha! Huh. They are not very forgiving about the hitbox on these points. What the heck? What? I have never been unable to hit something as as fiercely as I am unable to hit anything in this game. Call me Vex. You started watching the podcast, found it familiar, and then realized you were in it. Bow isn't really meant for long distance. Oh, okay. It's all right. I don't mind it. I'm just, uh, I'm just amazed at my. Uh... Whoa! There's another one. All right, all right. Okay. I'm amazed at my inaccuracy is what I was gonna say. Okay. 
Oh, that's right. It just said component removed. I didn't actually kill it. I don't think. I'm injured. I need your help. What? Who said that? Please. Probably needed the wash. What? No one else will oh. help me. Please. Random passerby, please. You're the only one. Would you not help me? My lord, D does everyone in this game talk like that? Please, you must, for the good of our tribe. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. See you in a moment. Hey, this is kind of weird. Let me throw this out there. I'm actually uh, having a quick snack. I'm having a little, like, egg white bite. White bite. And a banana. Healthy snack, you guys. Actually, the banana is a little carby, but whatever. Um, it doesn't look like the memory leak's quite as bad when you're out of the prologue. It's still climbing a little bit, but it's... No, uh, never mind. It's actually kind of the same. Uh, I take it back. I take it back. Um, I looked at it for a second, and I was like, oh, it's kind of holding steady, but no, it's still creeping up there, so... Um, actually, yeah, shockingly high CPU usage, too. That's impressive. I know, I know what the rest of that's coming from. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I just need to close that and take it on faith that OBS is working okay. Open up a little more CPU. Um, yeah, I use remote desktop to watch my, uh, my, uh, other, my streaming PC. And, uh, it can take up some CPU, especially since, like I said, I had to turn off hardware encoding. I'm not going to eat the banana on camera. Uh, oh yeah, and um, real quick, I'm going to check and see if uh, Avengers is up. Because if it is, I'm going to play this for a little longer, but I just want to know. You know? Okay, see you guys in a second.